The data proves what many have speculated. COVID-19 disproportionately affects minorities. It was the topic of a state legislative subcommittee meeting Tuesday. These same populations are exposed to poverty. They're often living in crowded multi-generational housing. There's been the mass incarceration, particularly of um, Black and um, Latino men. There's also increase um, of these uh, communities in the service sector, and they were considered essential during the pandemic. The state health department numbers show cases are the highest among the Hispanic population. For every 100,000 people, there were just over 4,000 cases. In the African-American community, that number is just over 3,200. But the African-American death rate is higher at 83.6 versus Hispanics at 66.8. The Latinx community is getting infected as younger. So at least in our Johns Hopkins medicine data, it's a younger population that's getting infected. State and local health departments are working together on outreach programs to try and raise awareness about coronavirus in those communities. Communication barriers, wanted to make sure that people were able to up, uh, have access to accurate, updated informa information, but particularly that, that it was easy to understand. Um, knowledge of testing procedures, youth awareness, um, access was a key issue, transportation to testing locations. But doctors say everyone needs to be their own advocate. I would tell anyone who is um, in the minority community, if, if you feel like you are sick, you need to go back and demand what it is that you need to have for testing. The state has already spent $1.2 million on outreach for materials in other languages. They continue to do more outreach moving forward. Reporting live at the Inner Harbor, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.